The game we are going to take a look at is Rafael Vaganian, one of the strongest players of his time, against Antonio Martorelli, an Italian international master. So before we go just into the game, I want to mention that Vaganian won against players such as Anatoly Karpov. And it was only four years ago that he gave something like a comeback and won against players exactly like Oleg Romanishin and Anatoly Karpov in rapid end blitz. So Rafael Vaganian might have had some pauses recently, but he is still a very strong player. And Antonio Martorelli, an international master which I have faced, is very knowledgeable. And before this round, I was very excited. And this is actually already round nine of the senior world chess championship. So this being said, let's just take a look at the game. Vaganian starts the game with first d4 and Martorelli playing the black plays his response with d5. White plays c4, so we have a queen's gambit declined after e6, knight c3 and now c5, the Tarash defense. And now the main line is c takes d5, e takes d5, knight f3, knight c6 and this plan with g3 is considered to be one of the best responses. However, in the game, Vaganian opted for another setup, which is absolutely playable and also played. And this is fourth e3. Black responds with knight to f6, white plays knight f3, knight to c6, and now white plays a3. This might be considered as a loss of time, so Black feels unable to take on c4. Bishop takes c4, still one of the main lines. a6. Black wants to play b5. White plays bishop to a2, but actually this is not preventing b5 and this is just a transposition because after castle, bishop to b7, we reach a position which is usually reached with b5 chasing away the bishop on c4 to a2 and yeah, it's exactly the same position with another move order. White plays queen to e2 and this might look like a pawn sacrifice at the first side but actually it is not because after c takes d4 there's rook to d1. And now black can enter a very fast line with a move like b4 and this is the absolute main line and Dubov played this with the white pieces recently and successfully. So e takes d4 sacrificing a piece on c3, b takes c3 and now not taking back the um, pawn because otherwise white would have lost material. A knight for a pawn, not a good deal, but instead d5. And now black is somehow in trouble because he cannot deal with all the threats. So for example, knight a7, d takes a6 and black is absolutely lost after bishop d6, e takes f7, checking f8 and knight g5 and these threats do not look very pleasant. So let's go back uh, b4 and the main line here after d5 is knight takes d5 and then rook takes d5. This is possible because the e pawn is pinned. And of course, queen takes d5 is not working due to bishop takes d5 and white is in a much better position. So not very pleasant. But instead of b5, the black player Martorelli decided to play d3. And according to the engine, this is playable, but not the first line. So rook takes d3, queen to c7, pawn to e4. And all these moves by white are very solid, might be even the best moves. So it looks like Vaganian knew exactly what he is doing. But he's also a very experienced grandmaster, so this is no surprise. Bishop to e7, and now knight to d5. Again, this looks like a sacrifice, but after e takes d5, e takes d5, black 
should really not move the knight because then d6 is very unpleasant and again we have this pin so black should watch out but he just castles gives back the material d takes c6 of course white is forced to take back the piece bishop takes c6 and the position is around equal bishop to g5 and now white might have faced an equal position after rook a e8 rook c1 and this idea with bishop to d8 seems to be very solid because after queen c2 there is a surprising tactic and it's bishop to e4 and now taking here doesn't really work because black is winning material so this is the tactical justification bishop e4 very important move instead of rook a e8 black decided to go h6 which is also absolutely fine bishop h4 and now black should really play a move like rook a e8 rook a d1 maybe bishop d6 and queen to c2 bishop e4 again and this position should be equal white has a damaged pawn structure but also the pair of bishops so it's compensated both sides have an equal position but instead martorelli played a very strange looking move without taking his time so this move was almost played instantly and it looks like a very typical move for similar structure like in the Lasker defense or the queen's gambit declined and this move is knight to e4 but however here it's not working because of a very simple tactic bishop takes e7 queen takes e7 and now very important the queen is attacking this piece but this is defended twice but there's also this pin and this might be the reason why black entered this line but he he just overlooked knight d4 very probably so this is just lost for black because after bishop to b7 you can see that the queen is still not defended and if this knight retreats it's not defending the queen because it's on e7 so f3 is just winning a piece black still insisted on continuing the game with rook a e8 now a few moves earlier this had guaranteed him a very solid position but here it's just lost because of f takes e4 and white is up an entire piece for almost nothing it's just a pawn so rook d2 played here queen to g5 now there might be some ideas so white just plays queen to f2 and black plays rook e6 and after bishop takes e6 black decides to give up so let's go back to the decisive moment of the game and this is this knight e4 move and this was the ninth round and all the players were exhausted probably the tournament had 11 rounds so even more exhausted after the last round but knight e4 is a very atypical move for a player like martorelli i have played against him and he's a very solid player and very hard to beat and i was very surprised that he overlooked this however i believe that every strong player is making such mistakes from time to time especially if you face one of the greatest players of your own generation as always i hope you like the game and see you in the next video